Hello, I'm Jashikins, and welcome to my review of the Fringe episodes Through the Looking Glass and what Walter found there. And, well, the whole episode was basically they go to this pocket universe that Walter must have created when he was high. Because that's how messed up it looked. It was... It was just like, ah, let me create a pocket universe, and ta-da. And so it turns out that the thing they needed from the pocket universe was the boy. And the boy was from, I can't remember what season, but the boy was important, so they had to find the boy and bring the boy back for some odd reason. And it turns out, yes, the boy is an observer. And now that boy is lost. And so they have to find sort of a replacement. And it sort of depends if the boy himself was important or they just need an observer that can be on their side. If it was just happened to be an observer that needs to be on their side, hey, if Peter doesn't go too cuckoo for Cocoa Buff, you can sort of use him. But yeah, Peter. Peter seems to be going down this deep, dark path. Just. He seems to be going on, of course, a path of revenge that seems to be taking more out of him than really should be. And my favorite, favorite part of this episode had to be the end scene on the train between Walter and Peter. Because they seem to be coming from two points of view of the same problem. Both of them are losing themselves. Peter to revenge and become an observer. Walter to becoming his old self. And both react differently. Peter reacts like, okay, it's okay, just do what you gotta do, it's okay. But Walter is actively trying to stop this, is going, I don't like what I'm becoming. I don't like this person. This isn't who I am. So, it was really great seeing that conversation. That that was the most touching part, the father and the son. And I know I discussed this on Tumblr. I made a post a little bit ago on my fringe Tumblr. And as I'm searching for it, I'll just basically go over what I said. I basically said, what if Peter, you know, goes evil? Because he doesn't seem to be stable at all. So what if he completely becomes a bad guy? And my fringe Tumblr is firstpeopleraven.tumblr.com for the one or two of you who wants to go see that. Go ahead. I don't post there often, so don't like suddenly rush over there expecting to see a lot of shit. Okay, but what if Peter turns evil? Because he is not going down this ha nice and happy path. He is, yeah, he's becoming an observer. And for those of us nerds who pay attention, they'll know that before season four aired, Joshua Jackson, the actor who plays Peter Bishop, came to Comic-Con dressed as an observer. And he even did a video with fans, but that's a whole other story. So we were sort of got in mind that Peter was going to become observer, and lo and behold, Peter is becoming an observer, so I feel really bad about what could happen, but worst case scenario, 
if Peter does become evil, I just think it would be ironic. And ironic does not mean funny. Look up the definition of irony because I don't have time to explain it here. But anyways, I think it would be sort of ironic if Peter turns evil and Walter lands a killing blow on him because they can't find any way to stop him. This would sort of be ironic because, well, Walter saving Peter was basically the, what caused the whole chaos. So yeah, I would just personally find it ironic, you know, although if that did happen, I'd be so sad, really, really, just wouldn't be able to recover for weeks, and like, that's how fringe ends, Peter Bishop dies, I would not be able to recover. And of course, I then view it Friday night at the DVR it, and then I watched it today, finally. Then <laughs> it's funny, Rev Reznor gets annoyed when I'm at my dad's house with shows we both watch, and he's and, and he knows my rule: you don't spoil me, you don't spoil me about anything I care about. So yeah, he was really excited so we talked. And I think there was this frog or whatever on a bus or something. I think it was near the beginning or near the end. Rev Reznor pointed it out. But I completely, completely forgot about it. And... Let's look up what the symbols meant this time. And the symbols meant... Wow. Sorry. It's just I'm not used to seeing the page done so quickly. The glyphs spell out split. And what could this all mean? Split could mean about how everything is going because Peter is split, splitting up, you know, becoming observer, probably going to keep on pushing himself away from the group. Ironic that that's how it was in the beginning. Walter is becoming split from himself because, well, he has two minds colliding. He has his old self and his new self. And he's sort of split and torn. And of course, maybe another more concrete way to describe this would be the split between the universes because there was something opened up as sort of split. I'm really, really reaching there. <laughs> And of course, this uh, fringe PDF page makes reference to the fact that through the looking glass, for those of you who don't know, is a sequel to Alice in Wonderland. And I'm going to read from the fringe PDF page because it actually describes the novel better than I can. Because I like. I'm not a really big Alice in Wonderland fan, so I didn't read the books. So I was a huge book nerd back in the day. Anyway, it says, The episode title benchmarks off of the title to the 1871 sequel to Alice's Adventure in Wonderland, the actual title. Key themes in Looking Glass include a series of whimsical and complex strategy challenges with chess as the background Unique inventions, and in the end, the realization that was all a dream. Well, we all know this wasn't a dream, and the horrors they encountered were real. And 
before I end this video, I want to say, Astrid didn't die. I was so afraid from the promo of last week that Astrid was going to kick the bucket. And I love Astrid. Astrid is really the most underappreciated character on this whole damn show. She is the fringe team, but she's hardly recognized by people, it seems. So go, Astrid. I love you, Astrid. <laughs> Anyways, I have been Jashikins, owner at jashikins.blogspot.com. If you want to contact me for whatever reason, talk about Fringe, talk about another show, if I watch it, you can contact me at facebook.com slash Jashikins fan page or on Twitter at Jashikins. And if you're watching this on the YouTube, subscribe, like, comment below, and let me know what you're thinking. And if you're viewing this on my blog, Thank you very much, and leave a comment below, and if you want to help support this lovely, lovely blog, you can do so by going to the donate box and choosing one of two options to donate. You can either use the handy dandy donate button, or you can go below it to the link to my cafe press shop and buy something. Remember, holiday season is upon us comes quicker and quicker each year. So maybe you can buy something for a friend or buy something for yourself from Santa. I'm just assuming my viewers know about Santa. He needs help. And until next video, goodbye.